She's sort of got similar stuff. Q obviously is export, editor, file browser. Okay, let's get that first one in. Okay, there it is. So over on the right hand side, I've got all my controls. So let's have a quick look, expose the different tabs for doing different bits. And the problem you're going to get here straight off the bat is they're using wording that you wouldn't be used to. So when you bounce between Capture One and Adobe Lightroom, the wording and phrasing they use to talk about certain things, like clarity is clarity, you know, that they use very, very similar words. In this, I have noticed that they use their own sort of languaging. So anyway, so let's look at apparently the stack works up by like lab adjustments. I like lab, lab's great. So I use lab in color creation to which result a lot. But let's just straighten this photo. How easy is it for me to straighten this photograph? Selective editing, where is it? You see, even the icons don't really tell me what I'm supposed to be doing here. Here we are. So plus or minus exposure, tone mapping, shadow, equalize. Where are we going? So spot removal, local edges, noise reduction, it sort of makes sense. That one, return X, selective editing. What's that all about? Nope. Crop, resizing and framing. Crop, I don't want to crop. Lens and geometry, rotate. Here we go. Auto crop, select a straight line. Oh, hopefully you'll be able to put something on the screen to show you what to do. I'm sure I'm missing something here. Okay, but that's straight now. That's fine.